Our out of this world lead is truly beyond this world, 390 light years away. In fact, for context, one light year is equivalent to 6 trillion miles. In humanity's relentless pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, we've embarked on a quest that goes beyond time itself, seeking answers to age old questions woven into the fabric of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, recently detected a glimpse of a structure predating the birth of stars. This celestial object appeared to be older than the universe itself, raising more questions than it answers. How could a structure exist that predates our universe? Or is the Big Bang Theory at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion year old structure await, and the journey to unravel cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light years away, an ancient star called HD 140283 resides near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past. Some 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, it absorbed a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 140283 isn't just its speedy journey but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star, akin to the biblical figure Methuselah, who legend has it lived for 969 years. Initially estimated to be a staggering 16 billion years old, the latest calculation suggests a slightly younger age of 14.46 billion years with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. This conundrum raised important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down, figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance, like the sun. They're like eternal light bulbs, maintaining their glow, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them tricky to age date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives, using changes in brightness and color as clues, matching these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star twirls, like a wheel, slowing down from friction. Stars do too. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have figured out a cool trick called gyrochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic gossip. Flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like a star's youthful enthusiasm. As a star ages, this show slows down. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like astroseismology, it's like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversations, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on the star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, astronomers roughly clocked the sun at 4.58 billion years. Now, let's revisit Methuselah star. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling, or heavy elements like iron, they have. Our sun is a bit of a metal head, belonging to population 1 stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an old-school rock star from Population 2, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's this stellar bling-out that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now imagine a group of stars, the theoretical Population 3, which scientists believe might be like the universe's rare gems. While they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight, astronomers suspect these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand this stellar lineup, let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Imagine a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, the universe's basic ingredients, about 92% hydrogen and 8% helium, or if we weigh them, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were population 3 stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were population 2 stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. Finally, the population 1 stars, including our sun, emerged as cosmic latecomers. 
they formed from enriched gas clouds mingling with remnants from the earlier Population 2 stars. Some of these Population 2 stars also went out with a bang, contributing more heavy elements to the cosmic recipe. Now, the big question, does this stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.66 and 14.36 billion years old. The lower end even aligns with the age of the entire universe. And there's a 30% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box but even younger. Imagine rolling a regular six-sided die and hoping for that elusive six, statistically plausible, right? But regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah star is not just a cosmic veteran, it's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st, human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time, covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determine the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight, born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rendra Gupta brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles called photons journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescope, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now fasten your seat belts, because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with the concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math. Doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear, the cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard of the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are a couple of theories, and one whisper is that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see but that seems to play a gravitational tug-of-war in the cosmos. One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way. Our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction. Hinting that dark matter doesn't behave like we thought it did. Another tantalizing possibility is that there's a dark matter deficit in our galactic neighborhood. Imagine the Milky Way like a whirlpool in space, swirling slower than expected because it has less of this unseen cosmic ingredient. Without the gravitational pull of dark matter, the stars at the galaxy's edges move more sluggishly, breaking away from the typical speed limit of stars in other galaxies. The Milky Way's slower spin could be the telltale sign of a missing dark matter halo, or it might even suggest that the laws of gravity, ones we thought we had a firm grasp on, aren't entirely accurate on the galactic scale. 
This has led some scientists to flirt with the idea of modifying our understanding of gravity itself, potentially opening the door to new, exotic physics. But dark matter isn't the only mystery plaguing the Milky Way. Enter dark energy, another enigmatic force that seems to be accelerating the universe's expansion. While dark matter pulls things together, dark energy seems to be pushing everything apart, making the universe grow ever faster. It's as if dark energy and dark matter are cosmic competitors in an invisible tug-of-war, with galaxies caught in the middle. And here's where the plot thickens, what if these two forces aren't separate entities but different facets of the same mysterious cosmic phenomenon? Some theorists suggest that what we call dark matter and dark energy might actually be linked, a single force governing the large-scale structure of the universe. If true, this could completely rewrite the cosmic playbook, shaking the foundations of what we think we know about the universe's birth, its expansion, and its eventual fate. Now imagine if these forces, dark matter and dark energy, are just pieces of a much grander cosmic puzzle. Could there be other forces out there, hidden from our senses and instruments, that have been shaping the universe since its inception? Some theoretical physicists have proposed that the universe may have undergone several cosmic epochs, each governed by a different set of physical laws. Perhaps the universe we live in today, with its dark energy and dark matter, is just the latest in a series of cosmic iterations. If true, this would suggest that the Big Bang wasn't the beginning of everything, but merely a phase transition, one of many in the eternal life cycle of the cosmos. The idea of an infinite, cyclical universe is both awe-inspiring and humbling, forcing us to confront the possibility that our current understanding of the cosmos is merely a snapshot in an endlessly evolving narrative. The mind-boggling implications of these cosmic forces, coupled with the ancient stars like Methuselah, beg another question, if the universe is older than we think, or if it operates under principles we've yet to understand, where does that leave us? Could there be entire galaxies, civilizations, and life forms so far removed from our timeline that we can't even begin to comprehend their existence? And what if the secrets to the universe's true nature lie not just in the distant stars but in the dark spaces between them, those vast, seemingly empty voids that might hold the key to unlocking the mysteries of dark energy and dark matter. In the end, the James Webb Space Telescope, Methuselah Star, Dark Matter, and Dark Energy are all part of a grand cosmic puzzle. Each discovery, no matter how small, brings us a step closer to understanding the universe's ultimate destiny. Whether it's a universe that will keep expanding forever, a universe that will collapse back in on itself, or one that will oscillate between endless cycles of birth and destruction, the answers are out there, written in the starlight, waiting to be uncovered. As humanity continues its exploration of the cosmos, driven by curiosity and a desire to know our place in the vastness of space and time, one thing is certain, the more we learn, the more we realize just how much there is left to discover. The universe, in all its glory and mystery, is far grander than we ever imagined, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface of its infinite wonders. The Methuselah star and other cosmic enigmas remind us that while we may never have all the answers, the pursuit of 